Hi. Good day. How are you? I hope you're all doing fine and blessed today. My name is Teacher Leia, and today we are going to unlock new learning through this lesson video. Come and join me to further explore about opinion or assertion. Let us start by praying first. All together, Almighty God, to Thee we humbly pray, help and guide us to understand our lesson for today. In evil deeds and wrongdoings, keep us away. Make us responsible and notable person to others as we fulfill to do it. Amen. Before we proceed with the discussion of our lesson for today, I want you to know that at the end of this lecture video, learners must differentiate opinion and assertion, formulate expressions of opinion and assertion, reflect on the importance of information that we received every day. As individuals, we are entitled to our own views about different things and events happening around us. These views usually vary depending on how much we know about these things and how they may affect us. Just like what you can see in the presentation, these are some of the thoughts that we think they like to do. For a one-year-old boy, children often play with their toys. For a five-year-old girl, girls like color pink. And for a teenager, a lot of people are hooked in playing Mobile Legends. Let us deeply explore what is an opinion and assertion. These two concepts often cause confusion among students because different references view them in a number of different ways. Technically, an opinion is defined as a view, judgment, or appraisal drawn from facts. It is usually a concept or impression based on factual evidence. For example, the sentence, The Philippines is one of the best tourist destinations on the planet. This may be considered an opinion which may be drawn from facts and data showing the number of tourists coming in and out of the country on a specific period as compared to the records of other countries. Another example is Omicron is spreading all over the world and it is very alarming. And lastly, any age can be addicted to playing online games. On the other hand, an assertion is a declaration or expression of strong belief towards a particular topic often without evidence. It usually includes forceful or confident and positive statements regarding a belief or a fact. In contrast to an opinion, an assertion, which is usually subjective, expresses vindication, mostly with no support or evidences. For example, the sentence the Philippines is the happiest country in the world. This is an assertion because it is subjective and not founded on factual evidences. Another example is, in times of global crisis, men are better than women. Lastly, distance learning is enjoyable than face-to-face. -face. For this lesson, it is important that you learn how to distinguish the two concepts from a lot of information that you may encounter. In this technological age where any information can be easily accessed anytime, it is essential to know which ones you should believe right away and which ones you should research further. Likewise, as you explore more lessons that require you to write using the English language, it is a must that you learn how to properly come up with a common expression of your opinions and assertions. Always remember that 
having different thoughts that contradict to one another is complicated and might cause misunderstanding. However, respect is the key in order to acknowledge each one's thoughts and avoid misunderstanding. For your assignment, you will read an article about COVID-19 pandemic, look for an opinions and assertions in the article. You may use the template provided below to sort out opinions and assertions that you have read. And that ends our lesson for today. I hope that you learned something from our lesson for today. If you have any comments and suggestions, you can email me at fryingfits at gmail.com. See you again in our next lesson. Goodbye!